Jude. Jude. Hi, Jude. Hi. <laughs> this is a pretty cool place, called Aku. I mean, what um, what do we do? What do we do here? It's a peer support, early crisis intervention house, and we have four guests. Okay. With uh, two staff from 12:30 to 8:30, and then one that does 8:30 to the overnight to 12:30 the oh, yeah. next day. Uh, Residential, come and stay here. Yes, yes. up to two weeks. Yeah. And by peer support, what's that mean? We will service users. Right. Or have been well on um, our recovery path. Right. The, the staff, do you call them staff here or do you have another word? Well, uh, staff, workers, but we call the people that stay here guests. Yes. And because uh, they're guests of our house. Yeah, yeah. And um, usually, we do have the odd respite, which is people that can be in those community houses yeah. in there. Yeah. And they are probably the hard, hardest ones to motivate, and they only usually stay for three or four days. Um, the other ones that are the early crisis intervention that is um, referred by the likes of the MCT and the psychologist and uh, counsellors from Coward Clinic. Yeah, so you work with the, with the mental health services. We work with you the work, mental health services. You refer people here. Yes. But the, when we come here, look, I'm here now, this is uh, right out in the country. Yeah. And we're all very, we're quite in the same background, but people yeah. with, with experience yes. of using services, uh, delivering the services. Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. And we find that um, after people settle in a bit yeah. and sort of rest and that, they become a part of the house right. and want to contribute, yep. play games, yep. laugh, and the whole, the whole, uh, what do you call it, um, and wellness. Yeah. Yeah. People get better. They get better. Yeah. They get better, and that's where the, the exciting thing is yeah. that they've never had to go into the, the hospital. The services now are trying to refer us. To prevent that from happening. Ah, oh, so come here and don't go to hospital, but yeah. come to the because yeah. it's a twenty, it's a residential twenty four hour. Yeah, and it's, it's come it's here instead. Near, yeah, like in wow. the unit and, and the mental health units, they are trying to just focus on the ones that yeah. are really, really in need, and and that environment can be very disturbing for people, especially first timers. Right. right. Um, and it's not really beneficial or helpful. Yeah, it's a hard place to be. It's a hard place to be. I no. mean, I've got uh, um, a relative who's best friends in there at the moment. First uh, time. Yeah. Full moon. And it's full moon. I and it's the, crazy. I noticed, it's, it's crazy. I noticed the full moon the other night and I thought, yeah. that explains why I'm not sleeping too well. I'm feeling a bit jumpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, having had a diagnosis, um, you sort of a bit on edge, you know, when it, and I looked at I saw the full moon, I thought, oh, well. You know, we used to be called lunatics. Yeah. Because of the full moon. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, so I've had a long journey to recovery. Yeah. I'm now officially out of the system. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Which is, I feel a grown up, liberated. Wow. Yeah. What are the key things that promote recovery? Um, for people. It's learning to to find distractions, find hope, uh, getting your life there, yeah. contributing, feeling that yeah. you, you actually do contribute, yeah. and and it takes time and you have ups and downs, yeah, we do. yeah. and remembering that when you are down, that it will pass. Yep. Yeah, it's, too it's just pass. keeping that hope. Yeah, yeah. Keeping yeah. that hope and knowing you're not alone in the biggest thing. I'd imagine coming here where other people, I've just got this idea that we all come over on different canoes, you know, mm -hmm. it's yeah. personal, individual journey, but we're all in the same boat. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. But some people are asking, you know, what does it mean to be a peer worker? A peer worker? I've been wondering about that. A peer yeah. worker, as I said, is someone that's gone through the system or is in the system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we can have some understanding of what the people are going through and they feel when they're ready they'll find someone 
that relate to yeah. and talk to and they share experiences and seeing where that's the connection is the personal experience right that's the connection Similar. and seeing that mm. this person they did it too yeah. and got recovery yeah. maybe I can get that same and not feeling so mm. low yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. there might be people thinking well gee that's a good service and you said before that it would be good if every place around yeah, there's a lot more of these yes what would be some of the barriers to overcoming getting a house like this well Going. bureaucracy of course and yeah. convincing the mental health system you know, yeah. be yeah. that it's worth having it's probably cost effective yeah. probably a lot cheaper to keep someone in a place like this than the hospital so you've done that with you've got the bureaucracy to, to yeah, they, yeah. you've also got the mental health system hmm? referring people like they want, want people to. to go here instead of going to hospital hmm. We had a pilot, um, I think it was a two year pilot, was it? Yeah. And to start with, probably the first year and a half, the services were really reluctant. Really? Yeah. Oh, because they it was didn't new. feel, didn't, yeah, yeah, because we were in the system oh, and right. how we're going to handle it. And uh, we'd, there'd be a lot of dope smoking and drinking. This and is that what they feared. This is what they feared. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then they stopped and thought about it. They, um, Unit manager and the staff, they thought, oh, there's more dope smoking and that going on. In the, in the in unit. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's be honest yeah, about let's be what honest. We <laughs> And they also felt that we would, uh, we respect people's confidentiality and privacy, but if we have issues yeah. and we get them to sign at the beginning, mm-hmm. um, we get their permission first if we need to talk to MCT or something like that. But then again, if we feel that their safety, our safety and the safety of others yeah. is of a concern, we do tell them, look, you know, uh, we need to let them know. Oh, so they, they, one of the barriers was they, they had these, uh, maybe some, some fears about oh, safety yes. and, and yes. managing confidentiality yeah. and those yeah. sort of professional sort yeah. of boundary and, things. Yeah, and knowing uh, the uh, um, belief now that we do an efficient You've earned your creds, haven't you? We because have you've been, been running creds. for how many? How long have you been running? This for? coming up four years. Four years, um, beginning of March, we opened, wow. and um, the services. Yeah. To say it's just so successful, there should be more porticos, oh. and they don't know what they would do without a service now. Wow. And we had eight, over 80 percent occupancy last yeah. year, yeah. Yeah. and wow. I think it's just growing from strength to strength. And with the country, the birds, there's a lot yeah, of birds, the sea, the mountains, yeah. we've got chooks and... You've got, yeah, I saw the chooks, I'm yeah. always going to get to talk, talk to them. Yeah. Oh, you know, just yeah. pretend to, not like... And it's so it's peaceful. peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> it's the peacefulness. I, I want to be able to go home, but, yeah. but you don't, wouldn't keep people here against the... Oh, hell no. You've got to have no. a referral anyway, don't you? Yeah, we can't yeah. keep them without the... Oh, yeah. um, if they don't want okay. to. Yeah. But we do yeah. have people not wanting to go... Well, you know, I'm looking at this table, kitchen table, you know, and it's just like a, what you call like a normal sort of a environment. I, we walk in and we have a chat, we have a cup of tea, and we sit down, we have a, you know, mm. a bit of cake. Mm. It's great, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. 